Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm especially excited to have Steve Plummer, who's one of the top copywriters and direct response marketers in Australia. Steve is one of Australia's highest paid and in-demand copywriters and is the personal copywriter for Australia's millionaire maker, Mel Emery. Steve is responsible for tens of millions of dollars in sales. His last real estate campaign was sitting at nine million in sales as of now. And we were at the bar at Titans actually, and you mentioned this, okay. and I was like, we have to talk about this, but not now. <laughs> We need to record it so other people learn from it. And he also wrote the copy for Harry Dent Tour earlier in the year, which was a multi-million dollar event. Steve, thank you so much for joining me at 5 a.m. in Australia. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Look, it's, uh, I must say, it's, uh, I'm very humbled to be um, invited and it's an honor to be here. And um, yeah, late at night um, at the bar at Stamford um, at the Titans event probably wasn't the most appropriate time <laughs> to be recording our conversation. This yeah. is perfect. So thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Steve, since it's Inspired Insider, my question to you is, tell me about, I want to hear about your lowest moment and how you pushed forward through it and also your proudest moment. What's, what was okay. the low point and mm. how you pushed through those tough times? Low point. A uh, low point is whenever, um, yeah, something it doesn't smash it out of the park. Um, you know, when you when you're not the the golden haired child. You know, when a campaign bombs. You know, when something doesn't do as well. That you know that that's tough because it's a lot of uh, you know wasted work. You know, I mean that's um, that, that that's what was yeah, one that, time where it especially hit you hard. Um. Because hmm. again, people only see the results, but they don't see yeah, yeah. those tough times. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, there was a a campaign I was doing for a, in, in the wealth creation space. Um, the for a number of reasons, but one of them, the, the whole event ended up getting cancelled because. Well, for a number of reasons, but primarily, well, not primarily. One of them was the the copy just wasn't pulling, and the um, the 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 guy behind it just went, "I'm not spending any more money on this. We're not doing it. No, no, we can, you know, we can turn. No, no that's it. Um, you know, so uh, for for a number of reasons, and and I think one of the, I don't know, I had a lot on at the time, and maybe the copy wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, but that was a real kick in the guts. Um, you know that. Um, that, that that actually happened, um, and you know he lost money, and the event didn't go ahead, and promises that were made to people, you know that 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 was a that was a tough few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, um, how you get over that is you yeah. You just how do you get going. your confidence back? Yeah, yeah. You look for a little win. You um, yeah. That's an interesting question. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It, We've just gone through this with um, my youngest boy. The, the, the um, he's he's a very good soccer player. Yeah. Um, he's in the region that we live. He's in he's one of the top players. But he oh. he just went for trials for a national what's called the National Premier League. So it's a, a representative for under twelves next year. Um, and he didn't get selected in the top team. He got a, a shadow player spot. And and he he was gutted. It's crushing. Um, yeah, it's crushing. Oh, it, it was. It, it, it's crushing and it, it doesn't help when, you know, everyone says, well, you should have got in and you didn't and, you know, all, all of those sorts of things. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's a game of opinions and different coaches and people have different opinions. That's life. Yeah. That's that's football. That's, yeah. you know, and, and so we've been working yeah. through that with him and, and at the end of the day, it's, you know, I just said to him, well, mate, you know, you've, it, this is one of those moments in life where, You've got a choice, and it's a very black and white choice. It, it, you either you either give up and stop doing it, or you pick yourself up and keep going forward. So, depending on what you want to do, if this has hurt you so badly, then it's it's life saying this isn't for you. So, you give up, or you pick yourself up and you move forward and come back better and stronger and work hard to prove that they are wrong. Right. And uh, you know, I, I guess. In that instance, it was a case of you know um, swallowing your pride. Um, for, for me, in that swallowing your pride and maybe going back, having a look at the copy, doing a bit more study, um, rereading some of the great stuff that I've 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 written. Um, to well, you know, I can yeah. do that. I mean, yeah. you know, and it, it it's a it's a really good point that you make 
in that um, you know no one ever talks about their failures. You know, people talk about you know you see oh yeah I did this campaign that brought in three hundred thousand dollars in a day and you know this one made five million dollars in ten seconds and stuff like that and um, you, you know yeah that kind of thing. But you never, in fact, I've never heard anyone get up and say you know well. I did this campaign and that didn't work and you know then the ad that bomb no one rang the number you know no one says that and stuff, it happens but, to every one of obviously oh, every single one yeah. I don't know of anyone who hasn't had that awful sinking feeling of it not working yeah. you know and it's hard it's hard not to take that personally um, yeah. but you got a choice you go and you know get a government job somewhere or you you, you right. dig deep and keep going on you know right. and I like what you said actually is one of the tactics you told your son and you use is you look at past successes to lift you up you look at the past successes you had and realize i've done this yeah i could do it again yeah yeah and it's interesting i in preparing for the call i I was you know because i knew you'd ask about headlines that worked really well and stuff like that and i was just going back through my files and um i got a kick out of doing that you know because some some of them bought some of them, and and it was even um, little testimonials that I got from people saying, you know, I've just you just you know it's nondescript startup business. You know, I ran my first webinar, and thanks to your advice, you know, I had yeah. seventy people register and got twenty over the line. And just that event I did back in in August, um, a guy who owns a lawn mowing business, um, you know, he sent me an email saying, oh, you're such a legend. You know, I sent my first ever email out with my with an offer for my highest. My, my highest, my high end product. I've got a twenty percent response rate, and I haven't even done a follow up yet. Oh wow, it's fan! You know, just just little things yeah. like that. Yeah, um, those are huge things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, we've talked about those the the big campaigns, but I, honestly, I get as much of a thrill out of helping the the little guy, as it were, and and yeah. hearing that. You know, just one piece of advice, one one critique, one something has has made a big difference and changed what they do. Yeah. You know that that's really great yeah. because um, people see the the big personality, people see the uh, you know the successful business owner, but behind them there's an awful lot of people who work just as hard and deserve success. So I, right. you know, I, I love those little ones as well. Yeah. They're so really cool. what's been the proudest moment? Um, proudest moment. Or one of them. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. It's um, proudest moment. I think has been. Because I, in my transition phase of you know from teaching to to, to copywriting, um, mm-hmm. I went through a a very big period in the wilderness. Whether I you know should I run an internet business? Should I do da 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 da? Um, so it's a tough leap. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you, but I went to a lot of seminars. Um, yeah, I always I'm always learning for sure. <laughs> I, I, I mean, because I'm I'm involved in that industry a little bit now. I don't go to so many, but well, you um, speak you speak uh, at them too. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, I went to a truckload of seminars in in three or four years. You know, everything paid for free, big events, small events. I went to lots of seminars, and I I, I kind of always admired the the speaker. You know, the someone who could um, you know work with. Um, move a crowd and you know inspire them and and yeah. so I think the the big thing for me has been going from the person in the audience yeah. to the person presenting and yeah. now um, you know, as of last August the person running their own events you know that that whole transition yeah. has been um, you know and I, I was I gotta say after two days of training people I was knackered for several days you know I, um, but it was a, a really satisfying moment as well. 